Hi class, welcome to Microbial Genetics and uh, our topic for today, it, it's quite difficult but um, pasimplihin lang natin siya. Okay, so of course the building uh, the genetic material of the bacteria, we have the DNA and uh, the DNA is a nucleotide, nucleic acid, sorry, and nucleic acid, the building blocks for nucleic acid, of course, we have nucleotides, okay? So, for a nucleotide, we have three important components. Of course, we have, uh, first, we have the phosphate uh, group, and then we have the sugar here, and of course, we have the third one, the nitrogenous. Uh, base. We have nitrogen bases here. And uh, remember, uh, sugar for um, of the nucleotide for DNA or RNA, we have ribo sugar. Okay, so ribo sugar is five carbon sugar, carbon number one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so take note the number of carbon. So at carbon number two. We have the alcohol group here, the OH, and the OH is present if it's a ribo sugar, ribose, okay? So that's why in RNA, we have ribo nucleic acid, so the sugar is ribose, so we have OH group. And for DNA, we have the oxyribonucleic acid, uh, therefore we don't have oxygen, that's why the oxy. And at carbon number five, attached to it is phosphate okay but acidic form we have um uh h uh acidic form of phosphate of course you have phosphoric acid okay h uh 3po4 that's phosphoric acid okay and uh, take note yung phosphoric acid or yeah yung acid could react to alcohol forming a bond called ester bond. So that's why itong phosphate group attached to carbon number 5 of yung sugar natin, ribosugar natin, could react to HOH group of um, carbon number 3 nung isa pang sugar to form a um, ester bond. So why phosphodiester bond? Because we have two ester bond uh, ester bonds so carbon number three of the, this sh sugar, sugar A, and then another ester bond here at carbon number five, uh, ng sugar B. Okay, so that's why phosphodiester to ester bond formation, and that is a phosphate group. Okay, so again, uh, ulitin natin, like the oxyribose, uh, wala siyang oxygen at carbon number two. And ribose naman found in RNA if there is oxygen at carbon number 2. Okay, so aside from the phosphate and sugar, we also have nitrogenous uh, base, okay, nitrogenous bases natin. Uh, and we could classify nitrogenous bases according to their ring structure. So pag isa lang yung ring structure, those are the pyrimidine. And Ganito natin siya kina count. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And yung at number 1, we have NH. So, usually, yung pyrimidines, yung NH here, ng cytosine, ng thymine, and uracil, uh, etong N na to, at etong N, attach to at carbon number 1 of our ribose. Okay? And, uh, for adenine and guanine, as you can see, those are purine. Uh, pag purine, dalawa yung ring structure. Okay? At yung number 9, di ba may NH here? And number 9 here, NH, attach yun sa carbon number 1 of our ribosugar. So, again, pag pyrimidine, lagi yung tandaan, pyrimidine, isang ring lang. So, pag isang ring, tandaan nyo lang, one ring, of course, carbon number one attached to uh, 
sugar, uh, carbon number one of uh, our ribose sugar. Okay. And pag purine, um, um, number nine. Okay. Number nine. Yung nitrogen here attached sa number one. Okay. So, uh, what else? And uh, the nitrogenous bases for RNA and DNA, nag-ibasila. So, for DNA, we only have this four nitrogenous uh, bases, cytosine, thymine, adenine, and guanine. And for RNA, we all also have four. But instead of thymine, we replace thymine uh, ng uracil. Okay? And... Uh, Another thing, so para maalala nyo, adenine and guanine, those are purine, so PUGA, P-U-G-A, okay? And then for pyrimidine, PICOT, okay? PICOT, P-Y-C-U-T, so we have cytosine, uracil, and thymine, like pyrimidine, okay? And uh, ano pong mga shortcuts dyan? So pag purine, maikili yung name, pero mataba. Yung pyrimidine, uh, mahaba yung name, pero isang ring lang, payat. Okay. Um, again, pag pure pyrimidine, okay, one ring, carbon, uh, one ring, yung nitrogen here, number one, um, attached to carbon number one of our ribose sugar. And then yung number nine of ng purine, nitrogen number nine purine, attached to carbon number one of our ribose sugar. Okay. So, pag mahaba na yun, we have bases here and um, we have possible diester bonds. So, mga nucleotides attached to each other, uh, we have nucleic acid. Okay. And uh, aside from that, um, Ito, another important thing. So, yung DNA, actually, I double-stranded. So, therefore, yung each strand connected sila by hydrogen uh, bonds between nit the nitrogenous bases. Okay? So, ito yung nitrogenous base, for example, nung isang strand natin. Okay? Cytosine. And of course, yung partner ni cytosine ay si guanine. Um, at si guanine, uh, ito yung um, nitrogenous base ng another uh, DNA strand natin, for example. Okay. So, cytosine and guanine, you need to remember this, na meron silang three hydrogen bond. Okay, so there are three hydrogen bonds between uh, cytosine and guanine. And for thymine, there are only uh, two hydrogen uh, bonds, okay, here. So, uh, yung nagko-connect ng two strands ng DNA, of course, yung hydrogen uh, bond. Okay, important yung hydrogen bonds. Okay, and uh, another thing, like... Um, Para matandaan nyo lang, cytosine um, goes with guanine, um, letter C to, third letter of the alphabet, pangatlo, so therefore three hydrogen bonds. Thymine, lagi yung tandaan, letter T, two, so two hydrogen bonds. Okay. So why is the importance of DNA? So nakikita nyo dito, we have five prime to three prime end and then three prime to five prime end and uh, later explain ko anong ibig sabihin niyang five three and three and five so importance of the dna is during uh, cell cycle we need to um, replicate the dna so we have here dna replication like copy of the the genetic material and uh, of course the dna also like sharing material to synthesize RNA. So we have different kinds of RNA. We have mRNA, uh, we have tRNA, and rRNA. Later, explain ko kung ano yung mga different kinds of RNA. 
And another thing, this RNA uh, will be used uh, for translation uh, or to make proteins. And that process we call trans translation. So this is the central dogma, like the information ay galing lagi sa DNA, then uh, gagamitin natin DNA, we use DNA as a template to make RNA, and we call that um, a process transcription. And then if we use RNA as a template to make protein, and that process is what we call uh, translation. Okay. So, ano yung 5 prime to 3 prime end na nakikita natin? So, um, 5 prime to 3 prime end, remember that the DNA ay um, anti-parallel siya. So, I think first strand and then anti-parallel sila. So, this is the second strand, like magkabaligtad. So, at carbon number 5, remember we have phosphate group. So, that's the phosphate group attached to carbon number 5. That's why that's the 5 prime. And then, itong last sugar ng strand na to, we have yung exposed OH part of carbon number three, which is the hydroxyl group. So five going to three. So five prime to the three prime N, okay. So bakit yung complementary I three to five? Because since the DNA is anti-parallel, so yung carbon number three here, ay yun yung hydroxyl part, and then yung dulo, which is carbon number five, Attach yung phosphate, yung sa pinakadulo is number 5. So that's why 3 to 5 prime N. So pag yung complementary niya, 5 going to 3, yung partner niya is 3 going to, to 5. Okay, so. Okay. And remember, yung DNA, usually we define it as a helix. Okay. So we have a uh, helix structure and uh, paano nagkakaroon ng helix or anong composition ng isang helical turn. So yung one helical turn of the DNA, usually that is made up of approximately 10 base pairs. Okay. And uh, so approximately 10 base pair depends sa klase ng helical turn or type ng DNA. Uh, pwedeng 10, 11, or 12. Okay? And uh, pag nag-turn siya, we have this minor group and major group. Inside, itong yellow and orange, those are yung nitrogenous bases natin. And ito ay yung ating uh, sugar phosphate backbone. Okay? Um one helical turn again that is made up of 10 base pair. So, gano kalaki yung 10 base pair? So, gano kahaba? So, each base pair, usually around 0 0.34 nanometer. So, ito yung mga important numbers na kailangan nyo matandaan. 0 0.34 nanometer, that is the length of one uh, base pair. Okay. So, kapag meron kayong 10 base pair, that will be equivalent to um, ilang base pair, ilang nanometer. So, times 10 lang to. Okay. So, around 3.4 nanometer. Okay. So, kung meron kayong 1,000, okay, that is 0.34 micro. Okay, micrometer long. So, therefore, meron kayong 100 helical turns. So, 1,000 kilobase pair or ay, one, kilo, uh, 1 kilobase pair or 1,000 base pair. Okay, so 1,000, ilang, ilang turn yun? 100. So, 1,000, of course, divided by 10 is 100 helical turn. And remember, yung E. coli, meron siyang 4,640. 4, okay. I think this is 
a kilobase pair. Okay. And uh, pag minultiply natin siya sa nanometer, that would be equivalent to 1.58 millimeter long. Okay. So, uh, take note, uh, masyadong mahaba yung DNA, like 1.58 millimeter in terms of uh, length. Okay. But the actual size of E. coli uh, around 2 micrometer long, long. Okay. So, question for participation and recitation. Okay. So, how or paano napagkakasya nung E. coli yung 1.58 millimeter uh, long uh, DNA dun sa kanyang cell. Okay. So, okay. So, for participation, that would be five points. Okay. So, pwede kayong mag-participate. Uh, five points. Uh, so, yung five points, pwede kong ilagay sa exam or sa quiz. Okay. So, kayong bahala mamili kapag nag-compute na tayo ng grades. So, Okay, so yung mga magpa-participate, kindly send your answer dito sa email na i-provide ko. Next slide.